Okay, here we are with how to draw a Tesla Model S number two. I've got to apologize again. Um, I tried five times yesterday to upload my video for yesterday onto YouTube. I finally gave up at 1.30 this morning and uh, I got on the line with some texts and it took us six hours to recover all the information. What happened was my site got hacked by somebody in another country and I had no control over it. What I was trying to upload didn't go anywhere. It was uh, it was being hijacked, so we had to get control of it back again. Luckily, YouTube uh, kind of suspended them too, so we got all taken care of, and, and I finally got to, to put that one up. But when I did, they had changed a lot of settings on, on uh, my YouTube channel and all of that, and <clears throat> I had to do a lot of things. It was really a lot of dancing around. So the one that you saw up there, that's full length, it's 21 minutes and 16 seconds, I think it was, without any sound. That was because they changed all my sound settings, and I didn't want to disappoint by not having anything up there. And because all that was, was wiped out on that side of it, I didn't have another copy of it. So I went ahead and posted that so you could at least see some drawing. But um, it's back again now. Everything's working. So um, no more drama, I hope. Geez, between being sick and having this happen, just unbelievable to me. Anyway, um, hopefully that's all behind us. Uh, what I'm doing here still is obviously just working in the darkest parts like we started. And uh, again, if you've never seen this before, I'm doing this because I have to know where the darkest parts are. All I have is a black pen. So in order to make lights and darks, you have to know one or the other where they are. And I like to start with the darks because if I if I do that, then they stand out. It lets me know uh, where they're located, and then I know how how light I can get near them, and it just makes it a bunch easier for me to go ahead and do this. And uh, the darkest parts, as you see here, are going to be under the wheel wells, underneath the automobile, where the shadow is cast by the light from above. Um, in the back side of the wheels through the spokes, in the radiators and air intakes up front, and sometimes in other places of the car where there, there's an overhang or, or some other part of the car that makes it, uh, makes it start to get dark as well. But um, you can see how this is going. And, I, and you can uh, also see that we're putting dots in and we're doing this um, Slowly and carefully, we're trying to make sure that we get a reasonably decent coverage of it. This is not as dark as they're going to be when we finally get to the point of doing the final once over. Uh, but what we are doing here is just uh, trying to make a, a covering that tells me where the dark ones are. And then when we do that, then uh, I can start working on the other areas of the car. Not these, not the darks, but I'll, the next ones to it. The uh, the intermediate values. I'll work on those next and between all of those and then the real light reflections if we have reflections or highlights for the car or just just lighter sections then uh, be, be when we get through all of that we'll have a broad spectrum of tonal values and that should make for an interesting drawing. It's a pretty car I don't see how I can go too wrong with it uh, as long as I'm slow and careful and don't get too crazy and just uh, keep on keeping on. And uh, I went to my printer again today to pick up something that I had dropped off to have printed the other day. And there was another Tesla there. So <laughs> unless it was one of the other ones that I had seen before, it was a black one and I had seen a black one around. But uh, I have sure seen a lot of these around in Southern California lately. I tell you, it's... Uh, it's amazing that uh, you know a hundred thousand dollar car like this or so. Uh, there there seem to be quite a few of them here in Southern California, but they are very attractive. And of course, it is a very green car, so you know it's uh, for people who are socially conscious and and uh, ecologically conscious. It's a, a pretty bold statement, but of course, it comes out of your pocket too. Uh, there are rebates for it, but uh, it is a, a high performance car and it's a very good looking car. I mean from the back this thing looks like a rocket ship 
it's so wide and so low it uh, really looks great from the side it has a different look to it but uh, I, I really do like the looks of it I think it's very pretty anyway uh, you can see we're moving toward the front uh, but this is fairly slow work but even at that I think that the the uh, effect that I get out of it is softer than like hatching and cross hatching which are just a series of lines or lines that cross one another at an angle and I really like that effect that it gives because uh, it has the look of a like an old print or something and I I really enjoy that and it gives a uh, what to me is kind of a comfortable look to it and uh, I enjoy that and it doesn't shine in your face but of course if you want to make hard line with it you could actually do that too it just means quite a bit more coverage and then you usually put a, a dark place next to a real strong highlight and then on the other side of that then a soft place and between those three it, it really gives an unbelievable look to it I think and I, I really enjoy this so that's how we do it okay getting toward the front now we got uh, about a minute left and there as you can see there are some differences uh, but but when I put the first coat of dots down I, I'm not too worried about exactly even coverage on it because I don't just go one direction in order to to get uh, the complete coverage on it I usually come back at a different angle and because these actually kind of look like lines they're they're all dots but when you're going one one uh, direction with it 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 tends to make it look kind of like a line so uh, what I'm doing when I go the opposite uh, orientation on it then it makes it uh, cover better and it makes it more uniform so it's just uh, just easier for me to do that way okay coming up fairly close to the end now um, looks like I'm not even gonna get all the way up to the rocker panel all to the front uh, but it is moving along and uh, we'll do a whole bunch more tomorrow I've got still got a lot of shadowing around the front and back so uh, we'll take care of this and I hope to see you back here tomorrow thanks for putting up with all my drama uh, we got that out of the way I think thanks again see you tomorrow bye